Hey everybody, it's Shawnee with Five Minutes with Shawnee. I'm going solo today. I'm just so inspired by the people who were on my show this last week. Matt Nichols to Rob Swartz to uh, Matt Jacob. All my friends and family who I've met through this course, this journey of making the comeback. And today's conversation is going to be about burning your ships. I'm sure you guys have heard this from Tony Robbins, Darren Hardy. But there's a famous um, uh, conqueror who, who was set in sail through... Cuba and he traveled and he was taking over islands, taking the gold, bringing his warriors to battle and it just so happened that at, 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 at a certain time he, you know, he showed up at this island and he was ready to take the island with his ships and his men and, and the army who was on the island was double the number and size of what he had. So he ordered one of his guys in the middle of the night to, to, to go around and burn all of his ships. Why would he do that? I'll tell you why he did that, because he had to create a sense of urgency and a sense of a fear of loss that, that his men, he, they could not escape. So these guys were forced to fight, and, and you know what happened? And they were either going to die or they were going to win and live. They fought and they lived and they conquered the island. They burned all their ships. And you think to yourself, why am I even talking about burn, uh, burning your ships? How does this have to relate to us? They told me I was never going to walk again. That wasn't an option, either walk or not walk. I figured out how, I figured out how to walk. So many people like us, whether it's Matt Jacob of the world or Matt Nichols or Jim uh, Walsh, they told us we may never walk, we may never drive, we may never run again. And we're all doing that together. Matt Nichols was slapped in half, I mean literally cut in half almost by a car accident. And doctors uh, told him, hey, listen, at the age of, of, of 15 or 16, you're never going to be normal again. He didn't take that as, as an answer. He went out there and, fin and figured out how to make it work for him. And not everyone is, is going to be equal, but it's all about the mindset, excuses, excuse my language, are like assholes. Everyone's got one. And those who choose not to have an, an excuse and choose to be resourceful and choose to really to live up and to stand up and make it work are going to be, be victorious. You know, it, it, it's so easy. The, uh, the, this Cortez, uh, this conqueror, burned his ships. His, his warriors had nowhere to go except to fight. Because they, I guarantee uh, they want to either, either fight or flight. And, and half of them wanted to flee, but if they showed up and they go, wait a second here, we can't go back, but, but, the, but the conqueror Cortez gave him a speech and said, listen guys, if you wanna go home and see your loved ones and, and hug your children and kiss your wives again, you're gonna win this battle. And they, and they gathered enough, they had the mindset, and they won. So it's, like anything else, it's like anything else out there. You know, no matter what you're going through, the, the loss of a loved one, you're fighting cancer, you're fighting, you're, you know, so we're coming from a heart attack like my buddy Scott Melman was or whoever else is out there, the star Pauls of the world who, you know, who let some tragic accidents, some traumatic brain injuries and traumatic injuries, we can all do this. It's a choice. But those who give up and decide to call it quits will never see the, the, the victory ever. And what I'm saying to you, it's all up here. It's whatever you conceive and believe you're going to achieve. And keep remembering that. And this guy, this conqueror, the warrior in this guy, this, this Cortez individual, as you've heard this burning the ships, he burned his ships. So I'm telling all you guys, October the 15th, the middle of, of October, the new year is coming up on us real soon here in the next uh, couple months. Burn your ships. Take the, if you haven't walked in many, many years, take that first step. What do you have to lose? You fall, you get back up. It's so easy. I know it sounds harder, you know, make that approach. If, if you see something you like or, or, or if, if you see something you want, go get it. D don't wait and, and hold back. The, the moment is here. The time is now. So that's my little chat for right now. Burn your ships. Burn your ships. Keep going forward. If they're telling you you can't do something, prove them wrong. Please prove them wrong. I promise you, in the long run, if you never take that first step, Nothing ventured and nothing gained. If, if you don't ask, you're never going to get. Hint, 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 Dr. Bittner. Remember all that. If you don't ask, you're not going to get. So e either fight or flight. Be the one who's going to fight. And, let's do, and together, we're a team. You're, you're, uh, you're never alone. And if you don't take the first chance or the first step in life, what good is it? You're never going to know what you, what, what you could have accomplished. So let's take a step together and then, you know... If you need help, reach out. There's people out there who can help you take that first step, I promise you. People like myself, people in this community. We're warriors. We're warriors in dance. We march forward. And that's my lesson for today. Burn your ships and go get it. You know, because my, my buddy Evan Britton played in 
the NFL for six years. You think he sat around and waited for the NFL to call him? No, he started going after it at a young age of 10. He's like, I'm going to play in the NFL. Yeah, he was given the body and the physique to do it. But even when he got there through college and everything else, he had a battle's way onto the field. Because at any moment, he could have been cut and sent, and sent to the... Um, and sent down or sent up, it doesn't matter. But no matter what it is in life, go get it. You think Kobe Bryant, Metro Johnson, Michael, uh, Jordan sat around and waited? No. They visualized, they went, they got it, and they, and they accomplished it. So you guys can do it too. So take my word of advice. Listen, burn your shit. Get, get off the couch and go get it. Don't wait on anybody. If you're afraid to make that phone call, make that call. If you're afraid to make that, ask that question, ask that question. And you know, sleep is for the dead. You can sleep later. Yeah, I'm not saying to, to not get rest, but go, go attack life and go get this right now. Anyways, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Monday. Again, it's the five minutes with Shawnee. And please share this with all your family and friends. I'm just, I, I suffered a stroke. I, I was told I was never going to walk, talk, or drive a car again. And I'm doing all this because of you guys inspiring me. I, you know, Every time I get on the show, I get nervous. I get scared. I get, oh my God, am I going to fumble? Am I going to stutter? Am I going to lose my train of thought? Yeah, I do it all the time, but I'm normal. And we're human. Humans make mistakes. Go make as many mistakes as you can. Keep failing, keep getting up, and keep achieving. And you're going to do all this. And remember these words, I can, I shall, I will. And it's not about why me, it's about what's next. So we can do all this together. So anyways, enjoy your evening. Enjoy your day. This is me from right now. I love all of you. Bye-bye now. Take care.